Hey Glenn fam, welcome to today's video. We're testing out the brand new Danessa Myrick's Groundwork palette. I am so excited to dive into this very innovative palette. Leave it to Danessa Myrick's to really come up with something that is so different in the market. And I want to see how this wears on a mature over 40 skin. We are going to do a five day wear test with this. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. And we're going to dive into all of the details and how I utilized this palette on most of my face right now. And then we are going to create an eyeshadow look as well. So We'll get into all those details. If you like videos like this, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. And without further ado, let's get glowing. Glam let's jump right into it. So again, this is the brand new Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of her best packagings ever. I'll show you guys the unboxing right there. It is a really beautiful component. This is something that she really stepped up her game from her previous eyeshadow type palettes, although this is more of an all-in-one palette and it's totally different. I wouldn't even call it an eyeshadow palette. I'd call it an all-in-one palette, but it is just really pretty. I love the texture of that outside component and the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's that signature Danessa Myricks bronzy tone. And then you have like this 3D plated uh, raised situation going on in the front that has her logo and the name Groundwork. She really created such a very luxe packaging with this and it's not her standard cardboard type packaging. Although it's been beautiful in the past, I really feel like you get your money's worth when you look at packaging like this. And then just have like the shelf life it will go over in just a second and all of that on the back in detail. So you can always keep that if you don't have, if you want to throw away like the actual box. It is a really nice sturdy component as well. I love that it bends all the way backwards so you can set it down on your vanity like that and nothing gets in the way. But if you want to use the mirror, you can also use the mirror. Obviously it's really dirty now. The only thing I would say about this is that it gets really messy. Even as you can tell, these new balms are quite messy with the ones that I've really been playing with. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I have had a couple issues with this palette. So I don't know if everyone, I haven't watched any reviews on this, but um, the shade in the middle, I think it's called Harvest, had like this really funky film. So I had to dispose that one and get another one. I don't know if I'm the only one. Uh, let me know in the comment section if that happened to you guys. It just felt yucky. So that's the only thing I'm not exactly happy about. But all in all, it is a really beautiful palette. This does retail for 65 USD dollars. The actual palette component size is 8.43 inches by 0.65 inches by 3.54 inches. This palette has a 12 month shelf life and it's made in China. One little slight criticism is I don't particularly like things made in China. Just for me, they don't have as many regulations when it comes to ingredients and all of that. So it's manufactured in the USA, but it's made in China. And this is 12 months upon opening. Whenever you see that little thing open right there, that logo, that means once you open the packaging, it has a 12 month shelf life just so you guys know. The highlighted ingredient is the famous Upsolite technology, which controls the oil and smooths the texture. Danessa is one of the very few cosmetic brands that uses Upsolite, but she really made it popular with her products. I know Linda Helberg had it in her powders. Those are the only three like beauty brands that I know of that use Upsolite technology, but what Danessa did differently is she brought it into colored products and she really made it viral. And you guys know my love for those yummy blushes. It's just the best cream blushes on the market and it is such a brilliant ingredient. I went into way more depth with the original bombs, so I will flash the card right there of my explanation on Upsolite. That is Disruptive Materials who actually creates Upsolite. And it definitely will be good for people with oily skin just because you're not gonna have to worry about it feeling too greasy throughout the day, especially if you're using it all over your face. But the Upsolite is in the 
powders, not the pomade, just so you guys know that. Danessa created this pomade because it was something she couldn't find on the market, so she made it herself. Leave it to Danessa Myricks, right? Then we have the Shape and Fix powders, and these are all in color coordinating tones. This is infused with Upsolite technology to control oil and smooth the texture of your skin while locking in the shape and definition of whatever you're creating with the pomades. This is described as a fallout free powder, a very soft, smooth formula, and there are a multiple amount of shades to work with. So shaping your eyes, you can use like the velvet pomades to really structure and define, use it as a base. So it makes your eyeshadow last all day and then you can set it down with the powders. You can also sculpt your face with this. So I did start off with my Maybelline. Uh, you guys know that skin tint is my holy grail right now. And I did apply that first. And then I went in with the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream to kind of cover up spots like discolorization areas that I wanted a little bit more pigment. I really love that formula for really, I mean, it is just like, if you need something covered up, that's your, that's your girl right there. And it is waterproof. My goodness, that thing lasts forever. And you just need a small amount. It is really, really good. And then I went in with her nude, uh, these are her color fix and this is the shade nude two and i kind of used that as a concealer at first this is a formula for me that is not necessarily great for under my eye so i ended up going in with my sephora bright future and just giving myself a little bit more hydration for my mature drier under eyes that's just not a formula that i particularly like i like it better on the eyes for me so i did end up going in with that sephora bright future just to give myself a little bit more brightness and a little bit more hydration and then I went in with the shade sandstone and I started just kind of wanted to see what it would do to brighten up my under eye area and you can see if we can use it as a concealer if you're very fair to skin I, this is probably not going to be the color for you there's not a light enough color in there for that I mean extremely fair pale skin but for my skin tone that could work it just again is not the right formula for someone like me with mature drier under eyes and then I ended up going in with the shade chisel and I used that as a cream contour to kind of structure out my face as it states in there. You can really structure out your face and it's a really good undertone. I'm gonna take that same shade chiseled onto my Anastasia Beverly Hills A18. It's just an angled synthetic brush. It's small enough and thin enough to really chisel out the cheek area doing more patting motions rather than rubbing. Remember, blend up with your contour, not down, because you don't want to drag your face down. Just pushing the remainder into my hairline. And I'm taking Core and Mirage, and I'm just gonna take that on the back of my hand, and we're gonna mix that together, and we're gonna go off the back of my hand. Now I'm just kind of really working that into the brush off the back of my hand. That's a really pretty blushy, bronzy tone. Love that. This one's a little massive to like fit into these smaller pans. So if you really wanna go directly into a pan, you're gonna need brushes like this. This is the, these are my two favorite small cheek brushes and this is a synthetic one. This is from Smashbox. I think this is just their small, it's like worn off the names. But this is just a small, uh, like a buffer brush, a cheek brush, but brush, I can't even speak, <laughs> but it's small, it's dense, but fluffy and it really blurs. It's a really beautiful brush. Or if you already have the Sonia G, uh, I think this one is called, which one is this one? This is the mini base. This is a natural hair brush. This is a synthetic brush. So let's go in with the synthetic because I know a lot of you like synthetic. We're gonna go in directly into the pan. See, that's much easier to dip that into there. I'm gonna go off the back of my hand so it's not too aggressive. Yeah, much better. Okay, so you just need a smaller brush. As far as contouring the rest of my face, I used my Surat uh, powders just because for me, there's nothing on the market like my Surat contour artiste shade in Griselle, and then I used the bronzers, uh, the new bronzers from uh, Surat, and I have a full review on all of that, but I just can't stop using this. This is just my holy grail now. If you have really oily skin, I do recommend using these powders. I just wish they were a little bit bigger. That's gonna be my only complaint right there. That's gonna be really hard to dig a brush in there. But one thing I do wanna point out is that you can actually 
take these out and put them into a Z palette if there's shades or you want it a little bit more separated, but they are removable. I'll show you guys, they easily lift up and out of the pans so you can kind of switch things out. I hope one day she makes that refillable so people don't have to, if they're only running out of one shade, they don't have to buy $65 palette to replace. So if anybody from Danessa Myricks watches this that if you're gonna have that that would be really nice especially in this economy because a lot of people don't have the funds to keep replacing that so just something to keep in mind and then you can also use this to fill in your brows so you can structure your brows with either formula i just took stone and that is a perfect powdered shade to just kind of fill in the rest and give myself a little bit more definition so it does work really nice on your brows i wanted to show you guys how i did that all right let's touch on these shades so in the first row we have sandstone and i'm showing you guys the balm and the powder in those swatches and that's a creamy vanilla seashell beige to lay down the base or even use it as a highlighter and that's just a color we all need in every palette really beautiful and then we have the shade desert which is a sand dune taupe golden kind of has like a yellow undertone type brown i would say like a mustard light brown beige that's how i would describe it but really beautiful i love that shade and then we have mirage which is a nice soft sandwood warm like medium tone brown really really pretty again just really highly pigmented and such a beautiful formula and then we have chiseled and that's a cool yet kind of neutral muted smoky taupe medium brown it's really perfect again for contouring and sculpting out the face or even the brows or even your eyeshadow looks and then we have Sculpted, which is a nice neutral toned dark desert brown. It's really great, again, for sculpting out the face, the eyes, the lips, and it all really just depends on your skin tone. And then in that second row, we have the first shade, which is Stone, and it's a very cool toned, like grayish brown, really pretty. Again, I loved that color on my brows, and I really liked that powdered formula. It really gave a very soft, natural look to my brows. It wasn't too harsh. And then we have Core, which is a nice, warm, medium, burnt terracotta brown, really beautiful. You can use that as a blush or a even like a bronzer. And then we have the shade Harvest, which is a nice, dark, mahogany, neutral, warm brown, really beautiful. And then we have Bark, a nice, dark, cool, I would say like an umber earth neutral tone brown, really pretty. I love that shade, it is so rich. And the last shade is Tourmaline, which is a nice like obsidian black, I would say. It's a really great one to use under metallics as well, like the pomade side. You can always lay that down. I'll show you guys because I took the, uh, the Lightworks mini palette and I took one of those the purple shade because purple always looks good over black because they already have so much opacity on its own it's probably not the best demo but you get the point you can take that with any metallic and it's really gonna bring out the metallic and make it last longer as well so I just wanted to show you guys how you can utilize that black and obviously you can use it as an eyeliner as well let's really quickly touch on those ingredients because I know some of you have a lot of eye allergies and I just want you guys to be able to see what's in there what i love is there's no caprylic kappa triglyceride in any of the powder or the pomade so i really enjoy that and i love the fact that i can use it all over my face and not have to worry about that and again i know some of you have severe allergic reactions to that ingredient so you can feel confident in using this all right so now that we have our eyeshadow base on again gerard clean canvas just my holy grail. I can't live without her. She's just amazing. And that's the shade Fair. Just so you guys know, it's just the best eyeshadow base on the market, especially if you have over 40 skin. It's just, there's nothing. There's nothing better than that. I do have my glamorous robe on. You guys need to check these out. This is my merch. And I have this in like a baby pink and black. You guys, I can't live without this robe. It washes so beautifully too. So I will have a Glam Fam discount code. So make sure you check that out and make sure to check out my merch, you guys. It really does help to support a smaller channel like mine. All right, let's go into that first shade that we're gonna use and that's the shade Mirage. And that's a nice like soft sandwood, again, warm, medium brown. I think that's gonna be really pretty on the lid. So we are gonna try that pomade first and I'm gonna just kind of use it with my finger at first and we're gonna see how that works out. Uh, 
just I just want to see so I, my base is a little I got to smooth that out a little bit more my lids are just really acting up I had the eczema come back the other day so that was unfortunate we're just gonna put that all over the lid I just kind of want to see how that works Ooh, that's really pretty I love that color Ooh, that's really pretty I love that color uh, let's see here let's take my BK Beauty A and this is the 505 the Angie brush we're gonna go back to that shade and we're gonna just take some of that I really like that for some reason the sandwood didn't apply as creamy like that on I'm gonna take this BK Beauty A501 and it's just like a flat but fluffy end like that saturate it again this is the pomade side and we're just gonna go above that now we're gonna kind of work in reverse today this is really good brush for this actually because you can use the flat side to lay that down oh I like this brush for this and it, it's applying this formula so beautiful yeah this is a really good brush if you own any of the BK's this is a really good one and you can always use my code with BK Beauty. I, uh, I don't get any affiliate, like I don't get any credit off the code, but I get credit off the affiliate link. So just so you guys know, the code is just there to help you guys. And that just gives you 10% uh, off of all BK Beauty. But I always let you guys know in the sales. Always check your community tab. I put a lot of stuff in there. I had a uh, mixed reviews on this palette as far as wanting me to review it. Like some people didn't really care. Wow, that is beautiful. It's really, really nice. And what you can do is just take like the, actually we'll take the fluffy side, the same brush, and you can just, the only thing is, see how small that pan is? Like that's really, oh, I'm gonna get it all over the place. And this is the, sh the powder, and you can just take that and just start patting that down. Or if you want more density, I would take the BK Beauty. I think this will be easier. This is the A505. Yeah, it's gonna be easier to get into the pan. I'm taking the opposite side that we used. The we used the pomade on one side, now I'm taking the opposite side of that BK. Again, this is the A505. Now I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 208 and I'm gonna tight line the upper lash line and I'm gonna take the tourmaline in the pomade side. It's a nice little angled flat brush and we're gonna go above this lash line. Going in a weird order today. I don't know why, but it's okay. There's no rules to make up. Go in the order you want. Now, I'm gonna do something, I'm just, you know, going outside the box today. So we're gonna take my rougher number 23 brush and we're gonna take the shade uh, Bark and soften out the black. And this rougher 23 brush would be perfect for that. Because we're gonna transition another color there. I'm just going over that on the lash line. We're going outside the Christie box today than what I normally do. Oh, it's pretty. And that just softens out that black so it's not harsh. This makes creating a wing really easy if you're not really good with it. That's really pretty. So you can leave it like that. I'm just giving you like different options. Throw on some mascara. Be that would be really, really pretty. And then take like a, just like a smudger brush. This is just an Anissa Eye Pinnacle brush. You can take that and just kind of smooth out things as well. You can put the powder there to set it down. However you want to do that. We already got black on that lower rim, so we're just gonna work with that today. And we'll just do things a little differently. Well, see how it can make your eyes look smaller, so just keep that in mind. But watch how I, I can make them look bigger again. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna take uh, another Ruffer 23 brush, and we're gonna go into, we'll go back into that shade Bark. Don't worry, I'm still doing the upper eye, eye area. Now I'm gonna take a rougher number three brush, or actually let's take this What's Up Beauty R101. And I am going to now go into the shade Chiseled, okay? And we're gonna go underneath that. I'm just using all the bombs right now and then we'll sit down with the powders in just a second. That's pretty. I'm gonna kind of bring that up a little. Don't worry, we're still building on that upper area again, so just keep that in mind. Just doing, working on the bottom right now, I don't know why. 
And then I'm gonna go in with my rougher number three and we're gonna start using the powders. So I think I'm gonna do this shade chiseled. I think I'm gonna do that one. And we're gonna go underneath all of that. Wow, that is so pretty. Okay, now let's take a little bit of desert above the Mirage and we're gonna use my BK Beauty A504 and we're gonna go into that pomade. Okay, really beautiful, like I said, like a mustard brown. I just, one of my favorite browns to work with. You guys know that it reminds me of Natural Wilderness from MAC, my all-time holy grail shade. All right, let's take Harvest, beautiful mahogany brown, a little warmth there. And we're just gonna, ooh, I love that. Oh, that formula is insanely good. Did you guys see that? Smooth as a criminal right there. Wow, that's really nice. That's just the pomade. Holy guacamole. Oh my gosh. These BK Beauty brushes work really well with this formula. This is a formula like I have never seen before. This is insanely good. Oh my gosh, wow. Before I go into the powders, I wanna just stick to the pomades. So I'm gonna go into that warmer shade and that's Core. It's probably the warmest shade in the palette, I would say, besides the sandstone. And we're gonna go above this area right here. And I'm just going light handed. Don't want it to be too powerful. I'm gonna go above that just to transition into the brow bone area. Oh my gosh. I mean, they literally just melt into each other without any harshness. Putting majority of that color right here and then whatever's left over, I'm kind of just taking over the top of that brown section. I can't believe that that's just pomades. I haven't even used any powder yet. I'm gonna take the same brush, I'm gonna wipe that off because I always use different brushes, but I'm like, not, a lot of people don't have a ton of brushes. So you can use the same brush. I'm gonna go back in to the shade Mirage now. And I'm gonna take that, again, just the pomade, and we're just gonna kind of blend out those edges right there. You can kind of bring that in and bring that in like that. Now we're gonna take a little bit of uh, desert, same brush, wiped it off again. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of the sandstone. All right, I'm gonna take my Sonya G Mini Booster and we are gonna go into one of the darker powders. Let's go into Harvest, the powder. Ooh. All right, Danessa, you did something really special with this. Wow. Yeah, I have a feeling that's gonna last all day. This is gonna be perfect for my girls who have severe eye allergies. You're gonna love this. All right, um, to go above that, we are gonna take a little bit of uh, I think it's called Sculpt It. Oh, wow. I've used almost every color in here. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off that same brush. Sony G Mini Booster, I can't live without this brush. And we're gonna go into that shade uh, Core, the warmth, just to bring in a little bit of that warmth. And we're gonna bring that into here, just like we did with the, pom the pomade. Honestly, I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I was excited about it, but I really wasn't quite sure when I was like looking at the pans. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Wow, she really delivered. Ho, 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 she delivered. Okay, this gets me so excited. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, Mirage on the same Sonia G brush, and we're just gonna start kind of blending those together, just meshing everything together. I mean, I literally just want to keep playing. I can play all day long. Wow, that is something else, you guys. Seriously, that is something else. E61, let's just blend now. I was gonna do a whole matte look and then I said, no, I'm in the mood for sparkles. Okay, so I am gonna take Danessa Myrig's Gold Mine. This is my holy grail liquid cream product. It's just the best. It literally is the best. I've been using this shade for years now and I stock up on it and it's just my favorite thing ever. Again, this is gold mine. There's just something about this that is just, I mean, literally that's even too much because watch this. 
I mean, it literally spreads. It is just the most beautiful color. And you can, this has so much opacity, so you can literally build this up into something pretty spectacular. Or you can do really light like that. This sucker stays all day long. This is like the only thing the other day when I had some severe eye allergies going on outside. Everything else was wearing off. My whole Natasha I Need a Nude was wearing off, like just literally just fading because my eyes were watering so much. And this was the only thing that stayed. Really puts even more opacity in there. Make sure to work quickly because this sucker, once it's there, it's not moving. All the color fixes are like that, just so you guys know. That's what makes them so amazing. If you were going somewhere special, getting married, this is the one product I would tell you, you have to, you have to use. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. Just a little bit back onto the Sonia G Mini Booster and just put a little bit of that definition in there. I love this shade. Okay, I'm gonna bring a little bit of warmth up top. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade Core, same Sonia G Mini Booster. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of warmth here. I'm gonna clean up with my E61, pop on my lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, Glam Fam, so that is how the final look turned out. I popped on my Amy June Eve 3D Silk Lashes. You guys know those are my go-to lashes. As always, you can use my code CHRISTY15 at checkout and get 15% off of all Amy June lashes. My affiliate link is down in the description. I love this eyeshadow look. Oh my gosh, I love this entire look. I love the way my makeup came out today. A little hiccups here and there, but other than that, absolutely stunning. So I did top off this look utilizing the palette with my lips. And I first went into that shade, uh, which one did I go in? I think I did Mirage first. And I used my BK Beauty, and this is the 204 brush, a really good brush to kind of contour the lips with any kind of contour shade that you decide to use. But then I ended up going into Desert as well and just kind of shaping out a little bit, uh, a little bit more contouring on the lip. It just had a little bit deeper undertone for me. And then I went into Mirage again. Apparently I just really love this color and I put it all over my lips. And it is actually a really pretty lip color. And then I actually went into my Too Faced Hot and Spicy and I just kind of lined and gave myself a little bit of lip plumping with that product. A really beautiful combination with the Pro, uh, the colors I used from the Danessa palette. And then I went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Hazelnut Lip Liner just to define the lips a little bit more. And then I actually tried to go in with that sandstone color again to kind of lighten up the inside, but it wasn't really, again, working out too well with me. So I went in with my Gucci Carol Beige and I just went over that and just kind of, I like to just makes my lips feel and look a little bit fuller. And then I took my new favorite Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I think it's called Honey Kiss. I'll put it right there. Lip gloss, absolutely love this gloss color. And I just kind of gave myself a little bit of gloss with that. But I did add in a little bit of the yummy blush on my cheeks as well. And I went into Tiara, which is one of her vision highlighters, like liquid highlighters. This product is really beautiful. It dries down really fast. You have to be careful, but that gives you the glow like craziness as you can tell right there it was super glowy ended up having to uh put well actually put my rare beauty exhilarate highlighter over that and as you guys can tell that is just glowy glowy but not hoey <laughs> so beautiful but i had to tame it down a little bit and then i went over it again with the yummy flush bellini just to kind of blend things together again. And then I just go in with my Hourglass Volume 4 uh, Trio. It's actually a face palette for darker skin tones, but I love it as bronzer, as I mentioned in my August favorites. My gosh, you guys, I have never loved a cream eyeshadow type product in my life. There really is nothing like this on the market. I can promise you that I have tried everything. I think Patrick Tall came out with his Major Dimension palettes. We've seen a couple other ones out there, but it's just not, not quite like this. This is unique and this formula, it just surpassed that Patrick Tall, so no offense, but I didn't really particularly like that formula very much. I thought those palettes were extremely expensive 
for what I got out of it. And that's just me personally. Some people really, really love those palettes. And I know he just came out with his master, his like his type of, I call it master matte, so it's from Mario, but his matte type palette. So this, if you're like, I, if I have that one, this outdoes it, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. This is a formula like I have never seen. You guys saw, I could have literally not gone with any powders over these pomade type formulas and it still would have been beautiful and it was holding up so beautifully but they just mesh and melt into each other like a flipping dream i am so incredibly impressed with this formula danessa myricks you killed this formulation it is un believably good. So I think you're going to be not surprised by my ratings on this, but if you're new here, I rate every product that I review on my channel. Let's go over the application. My gosh, all of these just applied like a dream. Like I said, just so smooth and buttery and just blendable and extremely pigmented. Oh my gosh, I mean, it just was 100% across the board for application. This is unbelievably good. And as far as finish and wear, you guys, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful the way it all turned out, the absolute finish of this and the way it's wearing. I've had it on for a couple hours now and I am gonna do that five day wear test, so stay till the end, stick with me. This is an unbelievable five out of five, everything blurring, long wearing, great for sensitive eyes. I mean, just unbelievably good. As far as ingredients go, I am so happy. Thank you, Danessa Myrick's team for not putting any Capra Caprylic triglyceride or any coconut alkalines in this so that you can utilize it for all over the face. I don't know how much I would personally be utilizing it for that, but for what it is, is like an eyeshadow palette. I mean, you just can't go wrong. This is something I would definitely bring with me. And I really love that the ingredients allow me to do it all over my face. So five out of five for the ingredients. And then as far as the shade range goes, oh my gosh, you guys, this is like really beautiful tone. So shade range, I'm gonna give it a five out of five, amazing. And then as far as repurchasing, what I repurchase is, is this worth $65? Absolutely. I absolutely think this is worth $65. This is unbelievably good. The quality you're getting, the beautiful packaging. Do I wish this was made in Italy? Absolutely. Do I wish it had a little bit longer shelf life? I mean, 12 months is good, but I wish it was 24. But I think because it's a pomade product is why it's 12 month versus 24 months like a Natasha Denona. So I'm not gonna dock it off for that. So we're looking at a total allure score of 25 out of 25. I really wasn't sure if I was gonna get there, but 100, 1000% of me would recommend this product. It is so incredibly good, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of this palette? What was your first thoughts of this palette? Was it something you were like, ah, oh, I really want it? Or was it something like, hmm, I don't know if I need that. And I know it's probably intimidating to the, just the average person doing makeup. I know makeup artists were just like all over it because it is a makeup artist dream right here. But no matter what skill level you are, you're going to appreciate a palette like this because the formulas are so workable and easy to deal with and blend and all of that. I think it's great Christmas gift. Uh, like if you're like, Christine, I just don't have the money right now and I have $65. Wait till the sale for Sephora happens. Danessa runs a lot of sales. Again, keep your notification bell on because I always alert you guys of sales. It is unbelievably good. All right, you guys, if you're new here before you go, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join our beautiful glam fam. We're here every week and we just love for you to become part of our family. If you like videos like this, be sure to check out last week's video and please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button as always and comment below. It really does help my videos out. You can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure. Check out my merch, Glamorous Life Collections. And it's so funny, you guys. I have to share this story before we roll into the five day, for uh, five day forecast. <laughs> I used to work at news. Until we uh, roll into the five-day wear test. That's what I was trying to say. I actually ran into Nikki Tutorials, oddly enough, in an elevator in Los Angeles in Beverly Hills. I was there visiting and we ran into each other in the elevator and I was like, um, 
I didn't really recognize her at first. I was just, I, cause I was just in my own little world and I had my little sparkling Tomo bling uh, water bottle. One of her friends said, oh, I really love your uh, water bottle or whatever it was. And I said, uh, oh, thank you. I said, I'm, I'm the bling girl. I said, if it's bling, it's my thing. And Nikki was like, and that's when I noticed who she was. And I looked up, she goes, oh my God, I'm stealing that. But it's all over my merch already. So hopefully she doesn't steal that. But you guys, I do have merch that says, if it's bling, it's my thing. You guys know I said that from a couple years ago, I think. And I was like, I gotta merch that. And I did end up putting it on merch. So love it, you guys. Go check out all of my lovely Glamorous Live Collections merch. And I will see you guys in a little bit on the five day floor test. All right, you guys, so I decided to throw in a bonus day three of this new Groundworks palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. Because this is one of my favorite looks I've created, I absolutely love this palette. I created this eyeshadow look in literally like 15 minutes. It's so easy. It is literally my palette of the year right now. I used the Groundworks shades and I'll throw them up right there. And I also use the Armani liquid shadow in number two with the Sephora collection in the shade Blondie, a single eyeshadow, as well as a flaunt highlighter from Rare Beauty. So I can create this look, leave a comment in below and let me know. And I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, so we are on day five and I just wanna give you a brief update. I love this palette. It is probably the easiest eyeshadows I have ever worked with. Seriously, it is so incredibly good, you guys. I cannot believe it. I'm using most of the taupes on this look and I used the Danessa Myricks Metals, Liquid Metals in Lilac Flame. Oh, just one of my favorites ever. And it just went so beautifully. So I'll list the shades right there that I used with this look and I am just like, chef's kiss this is seriously the easiest palette you will ever work with i'm so excited and i stand by my ratings and i know you guys are going to love it please leave a comment below if you're new here please remember to hit that subscribe button before you go and i will see you guys on the next video love you guys bye never up never down never like a theme in a song clever feeling high feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think.